MJ. LeBron. MJ. LeBron. Don Cheadle. So the debate rages on. MJ or LeBron. Well, Space Jam a new legacy. Let's see how LeBron did. Before I get started, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. All right, let's go. So LeBron's trying to save his son. No, not Bronny, a made up kid. But anyway, his kid has been captured by Al G Rhythm, AKA Algorithm, who's played by Don Cheadle. He's gonna set up this basketball game that was designed by LeBron's kid. They're gonna come together, have a game. LeBron's gonna have to win it with none other than the Looney Tunes. They're loony, they're toony. So Bugs and the gang are back. So some things that were difficult for me overall, I mean, I enjoyed it. Uh, my kids enjoyed it. it it's kind of weird. It feels like I'm really, really, really old now because uh, Space Jam, it, it just looks antiquated and old. <laughs> my kids watched Space Jam before they went and watched this one. And uh, they're also asking, who's, who's the duck? It's like, they don't know who Daffy Duck is. How do you not know who Daffy Duck is? So anyway, I feel super old. Um, it's like Roger, who framed Roger Rabbit, and when Space Jam came out, it was like, oh cool, Michael Jordan's playing with Bugs Bunny, how did he do that? Now it's kind of like, where, where's all the digital stuff? Where's some super digital? <laughs> I, I personally like the, the older stuff. I, I don't like, I, I think the, the Goon Squad, I preferred the, the classic Monstars, you know, who made a little cameo. They didn't use the NBA stars as well as, uh, for example, I think the last time where Michael goes and meets with them and Charles Barkley's like, oh, my powers are gone, I can't play basketball. And you can kind of see the expressions in the Monstars. The Goon Squad, it all went so super fast to me because I'm old and uh, I just didn't, like, I wouldn't have known the uh, Ice and Fire guy was Clay Thompson, really, unless they had told me. You know, I couldn't really distinguish. Uh, Lilliard was probably the most distinguishable and also the coolest one. So hmm. at one point it felt like it's just like, we're Warner Brothers, Marvel, we're still here. Look, DC Comics, look, here's Wonder Woman. Look, here's Batman, here's Superman. And then even in the crowd, it's like, it got really annoying, like having been an extra, stop this movie, press the button and look and be like, oh look, there's some cheap, version of the penguin, the joker, and all that standing on the sideline. I kept seeing the penguins ugly. Oh, penguin, I'm a penguin. Can the penguin get out of the way? I wanna watch this game of basketball. But they, they kind of did it as a big long ad. Look, look, oh, we have King Kong in our thing. We have the Iron Giant. Look what we have. Oh, here's the Flintstones. You seen that before? So it was a smart way to have the crowd be like that. And then the rest of the crowd be everyone else. But like I watched Mitchell's vs. Machines, you see my review of that. That had like where it was the cell phone was taking over and here the cell phone and the algorithm. I and mean, I guess this is how you get modern kids to get involved. Not have some wee bunny where you fell through a golf hole uh, playing golf with Bill Murray and, and then all of a sudden you're, you're doing there with Bugs Bunny. I guess that doesn't work anymore. I thought Porky Pig rapping was kind of cool. Though I will get the reference, they said, they called him the Notorious P.I.G. Parks hit him up, this. Kind of coming to reality there. Oh well. I feel like there were two winners in this. I think LeBron gets a, a win here because, you know, he did it. He, 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 did, he did the Space Jam uh, legacy. It was always going to be him. Um, he did a pretty decent job. I think the poor old Looney Tunes, it's like, I, I, I think kids have moved on. They're going to, yeah, they're going to like it or whatever, but I don't think they're going to go back and watch all the Looney Tunes. I had my kids watch Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote uh, a couple of months ago, and they loved it. So there's definitely value in the Looney Tunes. I think they, were, they didn't get brought out in this movie as, as much as it could have. Um, and, and then the other winner, honestly, was... Uh, Michael Jordan, just in his absence, his aura continues, his mystique and mythology, you know, and they had that little cameo there, uh-huh, uh-huh. 
Michael B. Jordan, right? But even then, it was like LeBron was like a little kid in a candy store, like, Michael's coming to save us. Overall, if you've got HBO Max, it's worth a peek. MJ! LeBron! MJ!